Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my new YouTube channel. My name is Bless Paladin and I'm going to be showing you a few different characters on Dirty Bomb. There doesn't seem to be many tutorials or explanations of any of the characters in case you're looking to buy a few. But um, So I'm going to make a few different videos and show you different characters. As you can see, I got some of them unlocked, not all of them. But when I thought about getting Rhino, I noticed there were no videos. So I'm going to be making a video. Well, this video will be about Rhino. Some good tactics with him, some good ways to use his minigun, positives, negatives. And uh, let's see how that goes. So I already have a loadout card for him. So if you right click over here to the right, you can change your mark, change the loadout card. So for my loadout card, I'm using a silver. Right now I have Unshakable, reduces damage from explosives by 15%. Bomb Squad makes enemy deployables such as proximity mines more visible. And Trackable, turrets, mines, and other deployable defenses react 35% slower to your presence. And these are my weapons. I, I like I like this shotgun, it seems to shoot farther than, it's more accurate, longer ranges, which helps a lot when you're when you're a rhino and you have a minigun. So uh, let's get into a match, let's see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and skip all this and edit it out, so we'll just put you in the match. And we're in. So a few quick little tips for rhino is he has lots of health, he does lots of damage, and he has a shit ton of ammo for his minigun. Now, some pros that can be a, a very big turnoff for a lot of players is he's very slow, so he's very easy to get headshots on. He's um, a very easy target in general. You can you can jump circles around him, which leads us to our second tip, is number two, he's very slow. So you may be a tank with a ton of health, but you are very slow. He's a, since he's a very big target to hit, be pretty easy to shoot you from a long distance and even easier from close to Now, another another con about him is his minigun overheats. So if you use it too long, you can see in the bottom right corner that he's trying to shoot the score away from <laughs> That it overheats. And when it overheats, it has a cooldown, I believe, of about four to five seconds. Now when you kill someone, make sure you always you always kill their dead or their when they're down. That way they can't get back up. So a few tricks to using Rhino is whenever you get the chance, always go next to a medic station. Always, always. That will save you, you'll be a better tank, you'll have a lot more health, and after all, that's what Rhino's all about. As you can see, I, I walked out of the healing station and I got shot. Now when you're down, you can use a medic in B, 2, 1. They'll use a quick chat, and it'll let you call a medic. So a few good places to use Rhino is indoors at a checkpoint. See, right here I'm going to check, I'm going to choke hold that checkpoint. So let so that medic revive me here. Now when you're at a choke hold, the whole idea is to not let anyone pass in this immediate area. Guard, guard your entrances. Now since I'm indoors that means certain abilities like sky hammers or heroes can't harm me, which is all the better. Since I can't move fast, I generally can't run away. Now, with Stoker, the one that just threw the Molotov, usually he'd be pretty bad for me to fight. If he throws one of those, I'm not going anywhere. Generally, I can't run out of the way, and I burn. But luckily, I got away. So, when you're going around a corner like this, let's say there's an enemy, you can you can prepare for it just like that, and use your minigun. Now. If, it's, if you're just running around a corner and you don't have time to prepare, you, you can switch to your shotgun and immediately start shooting. That way you don't have to charge up your minigun and prepare it to fire. Now if you're at a medium to long distance, you can use your pistol. Your pistol is pretty good for that. It does a good amount of damage for a pistol. For a pistol. <laughs> so luckily I didn't have to charge up for that. That's what the shotgun's good for. I got ambushed there. I was able to protect myself. And that's what the quick attack is for. When you're running out of ammo, you switch to that baby and you can just start beating people.
Now, make sure you reload your weapons with every chance you get. You don't want to run in with an un <laughs> unloaded weapon, they'd be pretty bad. So as I said before, V is to open quick chat, 2 is for request, and 1 is for med. Which will put a little sign like that plus sign above you and let, let your team know that you need to be healed. Now, so I went over for I went over the subject of or the tip I should say of going around a corner but intending to use your mini map. If you just go around a corner and you see enemies and then you charge up, you're most likely going to get shot in the head since you're a slow moving target and you're large and you're going to die. So when you go around a surprise corner when you don't intend enemies, it's good to use your shotgun, pop around the corner and see enemy and shoot them. Now, like I said, it a chokehold. So a chokehold. This is a good point. I can see right here, I can see people running across. This is a, a route to flank us, and I'm inside the building, so nothing can harm me. Now we got another one over there, another rhino, and I know he's using a minigun, and I know my minigun is very inaccurate that far away. So I'm gonna use my pistol here. Now if they come up close, make sure you use your shotgun. Unless, unless you get an army running at you. <laughs> They've got the objective. So I'm gonna spawn here. Now in this in this particular game mode, which is objective, we have to obviously protect the objective. I'm on the defending team. Now this area isn't too good for Rhino. You have to be observant of the surroundings. So they have to get the objective in here. As you can see, my teammate placed a mine. So if they get up, it'll blow. It'll blow them up if they get too close. Now charge up your minigun, you can look around corners, you can see no one's coming. Don't go around a surprise corner without seeing someone, or without knowing someone's there. I, I, I'm not sure if it's, if it's, if it's true, but I, I tend to see when I crouch, I think it, it spreads out less. Gotta reload, don't want to go in with any, with an empty clip. I've got a rhino over there. I'm gonna try to use my pistol. He's coming closer. So I'm gonna go around the corner, charge up my minigun. And you gotta be careful about the Molotovs. So I hope you guys liked my video. A few tips, tricks, pros, and cons with, uh, with the character Rhino. And I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment below. I will answer your questions if you have any questions. Have a great day.